All right, you're just a week or so out from your wedding day, and I think we talked about it in that master planning line that you want to get to packing. And we got quite a few different things for you to think about packing, whether it's your bag, your groom's bag, a little mini emergency kit, or we even have a fun little tidbit about bathroom kits we like to share. So in these next few videos, you're going to learn what you should be gathering, putting together, and packing up for that special day. First, let's talk about your bag as the bride of the day. We have quite a few things in a list to download for all of these packing lists. You'll have a list so you can check off every single thing so you don't forget a detail. <laughs> But here's a few highlights we wanted to share. So this bag, I think, is the most important bag. It is. I mean, the grooms matters too, but <laughs> this is really important. So you want to get all your personal items, and I'm just going to highlight a few of them. Your dress, of course, your veil, your shoes, any undergarments that go with that attire, and the rings. Don't forget the rings. That's true. Also, another thing that I was thinking about, photographers love to photograph the rings. You obviously need them for the ceremony, but to bring a copy of your invitation in your invitation suite, because photographers love taking a picture of all of that staged out beautifully with your shoes, your rings, your invite, that always turns into a really nice photo session. And Lauren, you know the saying, something borrowed, something blue, something old, and something new? new. <laughs> so I know a lot of brides love to do this. So it's something to think about if you want to do it. So maybe, so maybe for instance, this is my mom's watch. So I borrowed the watch from my mom. Or something blue can be as cute as painting your toenails blue. Or a little ribbon inside of your dress that's blue that's been sewn in. Absolutely. There's so many cute little And ways. And new, I think you probably have a lot of new stuff. So <laughs> <laughs> since you're getting married. But that's just a cute little tidbit and something special for the day. It is a fun one. And there's also, we had talked about walking around in your wedding shoes, getting comfortable, breaking them in. Now, if they still didn't break in and get comfortable for that long day ahead of you, remember to bring a change of shoes. I always suggest trying to find a shoe that is almost the same height as your heels, therefore your wedding dress doesn't drag along too much. So maybe it's a wedge tennis shoe or a thicker tennis shoe or a different kind of heel that feels a little bit like an espadrille or something. But try to find something so your dress doesn't drag as much but is much more comfortable for the end of the night. Do you know my phone or the bride's phone or the bridesmaid's phone always goes dead and they're always. looking for a charger so pack a charger. And don't forget you can't get married without those vows so make sure to have a couple printed copies of your vows whether you have one you've emailed a copy to your planner or maybe even the venue coordinator but have those vows ready to go. And we hope that all your vendors are paid and everything is set so you don't have to worry about this at all on your wedding day. But you should have a checkbook and maybe some cash just in case. Or Venmo for your millennials. Be ready to use that. Or your parents' checkbook. Who That's knows? That's even better. Even better. <laughs> so these are just a few things we wanted to highlight for your packing list for the bride. And next we'll move on to the groom.